Get the power to move with the Acclaim Wireless Remote for your Nintendo Entertainment System. The Acclaim Remote gets you mobile in a WrestleMania grudge match. Flying Airwolf, the Acclaim Remote's rapid fire mode means higher scores permission. In the battle for Iron Sword, seconds count. So you need a controller with a look and feel you already know. Accurate up to 30 feet. The official wireless remote controller, licensed by Nintendo, created by Acclaim. Get the Acclaim Remote, the power to move. This game player's tape includes hints, tips, and playing strategies for a single game. To get the most from this tape, we suggest you first have some experience playing the game. Also, read through the manual that comes with the cartridge. Good luck from the editors and game players at Game Players Magazines. Welcome to Game Tape for Super Mario 2. We'll get started right away. Our game player has selected Mario. Our tape assumes you're familiar with the game and the manual. Treat this as a practice level. You should master your skills here. Here, Mario pulls a vegetable. Jump on your attackers and pick them up. You can use them as weapons on each other. Here's the first mushroom. Collect coins here too. In later areas we'll show you the entrances, but we won't spend time inside. When you pick enough cherries, you'll find a star man. The power block clears all of the attackers from the screen. Now, work your way across. The first hidden life. Mario's collected another cherry. And a star man. Now, take this doorway. After you climb the vine, you'll find another magic potion. Use it to get the next mushroom from subspace. If you're careful, you can ride these. Jump on the ninja and work your way up. This is tricky. Here's Birdo. Read about him in your manual. You'll need to beat him. Watch. Way to go, Mario. Now grab the crystal ball. The gate will open. We've made it to World 1.2. Here's your first pigeon. Good luck. Land here for your next visit to subspace. We're on our way to another extra life. Mario must use the power squat jump here. Here we go again. Your first key. Here's a new use for it. Now, unlock the door. We'll introduce you to bombs. They're very important to winning this game. Stand back. Quick, up the ladder, Mario. And more bombs. Another magic potion. 
Now we've moved ahead to World 1.3. Play your way across to the next subspace entrance. A quick hint. The jar Mario just passed is the warp entrance for World 4. To use it, you'll need the magic potion from the island. This trip will just keep going. Quick, out the door! We'll show you this whole area. Watch carefully. Watch your timing to beat the sparks. The mushroom blocks are useful for blocking the enemy and for climbing. Now work your way up. After you get the key, run for it. We made it! Watch your timing here. Work your way across. Be patient. This area is really practice for later. Would you believe this one's easy? You should try to catch the bombs and throw them back. Hurry! Toad meets Cobrat in World 2.1. It's better to kill them than to pass them by. Got him! Another subspace entrance. This Starman is useful. Now you get to dig. Here's how. Work your way down to here, then out. Toad's now in World 2.2, and he's working his way to a subspace entrance. Whenever you find a wall, you must search around for bombs. Here's a one-up. Another entrance to subspace. Here, Toad kills a pokey. After digging through another sand area, Toad must face a new Birdo. Watch out! Birdo now throws fireballs, too! We've reached World 2.3. Here's another subspace entrance. In this doorway, there's another mushroom. To get there, you must jump on a flying Brizo. In this area, your key is at the bottom of this pit. Good luck! Now you must get back. 
Remember, you can drop the key and pick it back up. Once through the door, come straight across the sand pit. Here's your crystal ball. Finally, the end of World 2.3. You meet your first tri-clock. He heats up fast. Good work, Toad. World 3.1. It's the princess's turn. Work your way to here and jump down. Good luck, princess. Number six from the right is the magic potion. You can warp to world five here if you want. Pay close attention here. Be sure to throw the pigeon off after you catch him. If you get killed and lose the carpet, go back down a ways and another will appear. Fly straight up the center of the screen. Here's a shortcut only the princess can take. After you bomb this, you'll jump out of sight and travel along the top. Watch closely. Your best chance with Birdo is to use the third egg. We'll see you in the next area. We'll switch to Mario to get through here. This whole sequence is difficult. Watch your timing. Here's our magic potion. This gray sniffet is tough. Take the ladder down and follow our path through here. After this room, you'll find a series of areas to work through. Again, watch your timing. You'll come up this ladder, go left, and back down the next ladder. The way to another subspace entrance. After this, work your way back up and you'll find the crystal ball. Good luck, Mario! Welcome to World 3.3. Watch how the princess carefully works her way through here. These sparks are nasty.
Again, your timing is a key here. See how our princess gets through this area? At last, the door! Now it gets worse. Wait for just the right moment. Watch out, Princess! Jump to here. Now carefully work your way up through here. All right, we made it! This next part's not bad. Here's a turn. We're almost at the end of World 3.3. Uh-oh, here's Mauser. Try to catch the bombs to save time in putting them back. It takes a very high jump to get your bomb on the ledge. We made it to World 4.1. Again, your timing is important. Your attackers are predictable. Be careful on the ice and keep going across. Here's another magic potion. Be careful. And another. Here's a big surprise. Jumping and flying using the princess as your character is very helpful. We picked up this shy guy along the way. Next stop, World 4.2. This one is tough. The whale spouts hurt if you run into it. You can balance on top for a lift to the cherries, though. Here's a magic potion. Now watch carefully. Remember, be patient. Here's another magic potion. Here comes another rocket ship. Coming up, one free ride, but you better be careful. Be careful on the ice with Birdo. You'll slide into it. Watch the princess. This technique works. Run underneath and jump up, and you've got him. Here we are at World 4.3. Birdo comes out fast. Here's another magic potion. Birdo does a good deed. Here's how you get across the water. Here's where the princess gets off. Skip the first two doors and take the third one. But first, duck Bezo. Watch out for Fry Guy. His pieces can wrap around the screen and come back on the other side. As each piece is killed, the others get faster and tougher.
now we've reached world 5.1. It's very helpful to be the princess here. Watch carefully, we're going for a ride. Here's the door. Use this bomb to expose the magic potion. Here's the door. Another timing problem. It does help to be the princess here. Here we go for a giant leap. We're off for an extra life and another magic potion. And another magic potion. Watch out! This Birdo has no eggs. He's all fireballs. You have to use the mushroom blocks to defeat him. We're at world 5.2. This is another long one. You have to be careful again with your timing and jumping. Watch how the princess gets past the hoopsters. At exactly the right moment, you can get the two of them. You'll have to work hard for this magic potion. Again, your timing is a big key. You'll need to catch a ride on this hoopster to get across. Continue to work your way over to the vine, then climb up. Be patient. This is tricky. You'll have to jump back and forth. It's very hard to do. Take this power block with you. Watch the spikes as you go down. You have to land on the side. Use the power block here to kill the trouters. Come through the right hand door. You should take care of Trouter first to get him out of the way. Then go to work on Birdo. It is possible, but it is tough. We'll switch to Mario for World 5.3. This jar is a warp to World 7. You can't jump to it. You must jump on an albatross and ride up to it. We'll pass on it this time. Mario has the secret potion. Here's the door. After returning from subspace, Mario works his way across this level. Watch out for the bombs. Go down the ladder here. Timing's very tricky in this area. Watch Mario be patient. Use these methods to work your way back up. This one needs a power squat job. Hop 
hide from the panzer and it goes away. Finally. Here we go again. Get off here and keep going. Birdo's up ahead. That didn't help much. Use your normal techniques on Birdo. Here we meet Claw Grip. Many people decide to warp around him. Remember that warp at World 4.2 takes you to World 6. We wish we were there now. Claw Grip is very bad. You can't even catch the rocks that Claw Grip throws or pick them up from the rock pile behind him. You have to get them after they land and throw them back. Good luck. This is one of the hardest spots of the game. The princess is back in world 6.1. It's another desert world. Use this jar to get a magic potion. And here's the doorway. You'd best hurry. Just what we needed. A turtle. Ugh. Here comes another magic potion. But first, deal with Pokey. princess has made it to the next area. Only two jars are entrances. This one leads to an extra life. It's at the bottom of the sand pit. Here's the extra life. Use the vegetables to knock off the shy guys. Here's the other entrance. You're after a key. Good luck with the phantom. He may chase you all the way out to the door unless you kill him. World 6.2 is a quick death if you can't jump well. You'll have to leap onto the low-flying albatross and ride across. A magic potion! After the subspace, you must catch an albatross back, but you'd better duck. Have a nice flight. When you get back, you must return again. The second magic potion. Oh no, Birdo again.
made it to world 6.3. Here's another magic potion. Now work your way across. Make your way over to the caves. Now start blowing your way through. Oops, that didn't work. But there's a way to reset things. You can climb out a little, return, and everything will be reset. please. And now the door. Upon her return, the princess must blast her way out. This is another very tricky area. Watch carefully. We'll show you lots of climbing tricks. working your way up. Here's one of the harder parts. Finally, we approach the end of World 6.3. Now, if you think this Birdo's bad, wait until you get past him. The princess needs to find a place to avoid Birdo's eggs. Here it is. There's a lovely triclide waiting here for the princess. To get past him, you'll have to be quick and very resourceful. Use the mushroom blocks as shields and steps. Again, the best advice is to take your time and be patient. You'll need your power squat jump too. Not bad, princess. World 7 at last. At last, the potion. The princess worked hard for this one. You'll need these vegetables to kill the sparks. You'll 
have to jump here to keep your ride. Now head across the top. Another level of timing and mushroom blocks. Keep going up. Next stop, Birdo Land. Oh well, another eggless Birdo. Use the same techniques you've used before and it'll be bye bye Birdo. Well, game players, are you ready for World 7.2? Before we start the next world, let's look at the bonus round. Extra lives are very important in this game. Coins give you chances in the bonus rounds at the end of each world. The bonus images always appear in sequence. Pay close attention to their order and improve your chances. Welcome to World 7.2. It's a real challenge. Go to your right from here. Back up to get this shy guy. You'll need him as a weapon. Be careful on the conveyor belt. It adds to your momentum. Here's the chain to the next area. Use this technique to work your way down. Time your jumps carefully to avoid the sparks. Here's a magic potion and the subspace entrance. Your patience and timing are valuable skills in this area. Be careful and avoid the sparks. The next area is similar. Keep going. Watch these conveyor belts. You have to adjust to their movements. You can go around Birdo in the room before this one and climb to here. Use your power squat. Jump and go left. Here's an easier way to get started. But there's no easy way to finish. Watch the princess avoid the sparks. Princess can fly down and avoid most of the risk. A magic potion. And here's your subspace entrance. Now you have to go all the way back.
Work your way slowly up, duck the sparks. This time move to the right on the conveyor belt. Watch out for Birdo at the bottom. Once you've taken care of Birdo, grab your key and head for the door. You'll need the key as a weapon first. In just a minute you'll discover why the princess is moving these mushroom blocks around. Run for it, princess! Good luck! Get ready for the fight of your life. It's Wart. His bubbles can get you. Be careful. Catch the vegetables in the air and throw them into Wart's mouth. It's not easy. Here's a trick that improves your aim, but it's risky. We got him! Let's just pop this cork off and take a peek. Thank you, Princess. Good luck on getting here. Hey game players, watch for more exciting game tapes coming soon. And if you enjoyed these great game tapes, you'll really enjoy Game Players Magazine. Every exciting issue is full of hints, tips, and playing strategies, just like the ones on this game tape. You can order a dream subscription to both Game Player's Nintendo Guide and Game Player's Magazine, a total of 18 awesome issues, today for only $39.95. You'll save $19 off the newsstand price. Don't miss another issue. If you want to play to win, call today, 1-800-458-4145. Call now. Our operators are ready. Remember, this number's for subscription orders only. That's 1-800-458-4145. Game Player's Nintendo Dream Subscription. Come on! Almost! Finally! Yeah! Ah, triumph is ours! Quarrels! But the battle of wizards and warriors continues with Iron Sword. The evil wizard Malkil will take the shape of the earth, wind, water, and fire. Farewell! The fate of the world is in your hands! Back by a beast! Live the Saga of Iron Sword on your Nintendo Entertainment System from a plane. Kuros?